the delay of 50 milliseconds and bandwidth of 45 mbps that if you take into the consideration observe carefully whatever the 50 milliseconds is there first you have to convert that to the seconds here that is 50 into 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds correct 45 mbps observe carefully mbps megabits per second that is 10 to the power of 6 so in a previous slide i told you 45 into 10 to the power of 6 bits per second so if you take just two things into the consideration if you multiply these two things then you are going to get that is 2.25 into 10 to the power of 6 bits that is of size 280 KB of a data you can send with 50 milliseconds and a bandwidth of 45 Mbps in that you can send you can send 280 KB uh, of an uh, data that uh, you have to take calculate in this way the calculation will be taken into the consideration. Now coming to the next thing that is the relative importance of a bandwidth and latency depends on what it will be defined on for larger file transfer bandwidth is critical this you have to keep in your mind if a very big file is there the bandwidth plays a very much important role for example I am having a 1 Mbps of an a bandwidth assume that my friend is having a 2 Mbps of an a bandwidth if I want to download a file who will download fast it's a general 2 Mbps uh, uh, person can download uh, fast why because you will tell sir 2 Mbps bandwidth will be more so for smaller messages that is HTTP just open a web page and all latency is critical that is for that larger than a transferring of a file the opening will play a very much important role that is the delay will play a very much important role here the variations in latency is called as an jitter what do you mean by variations the variation the variance of a latency just what I will tell you what I will tell you uh, that is just uh, you have to uh, take for example assume I, I am going to download one particular video or an audio in a video uh, for example uh, the bandwidth which is coming means uh, the packets which are coming the bandwidth bits are coming like this assume then if some bits will file or some packets will file or will be there what is the variance assume uh, i will tell you like this one two hundred packets are there in between for example 10 11 12 packets will file the interval between 10 11 12 packet whatever is there should be maintained correctly if a large gap is there, 10, 11, 12 interval gap is there up to the 13th, then what happens? The jitter will be more there. This is this plays a very much important role in an audio and an video frequencies. So this is a very one important uh, <coughs> thing uh, which you have to take into the consideration. How many bits the sender must transmit before the first bit arrives at the receiver if the sender keeps the pipe full? this question arise, arise always how many bits the sender should transmit how much bits he can transmit whenever the pipe will be full the receiver receives a data there takes another way latency to receive a response from the receiver if the sender does not fill the pipe send a all delay into bandwidth products worth of a data before it stops to wait for a signal the sender will not fully utilize the network this is very much important uh, uh, concept that uh, uh, so whatever you are going to send in this particular thing that is you must note that the user whatever is sending uh, uh, the data he should utilize the bandwidth fully always then infinite bandwidth what do you mean by uh, this and all we'll discuss now rtt dominates what do you mean by a rtt round trip time what do you mean by a round trip time the time taken to traverse a packet or a data from source to destination and back from a destination to the source is called as an round trip time. 
okay the time taken for example assume the sender will send a packet the receiver will send an acknowledgement then the sender will confirms the packet has been reached so this is the time taken for a source to confirm the packet has been reached correctly this will call it as an rtt what is the throughput what is the throughput at that particular time at that particular time how much data has been transferred for in this particular time what data has been ta taken out for example assume there is no rule like that for example mine is 1 mbps um, uh, bandwidth is there there is no rule like that always 1 mbps bandwidth fully i will utilize no that is, I can utilize from 0 to 1 Mbps bandwidth. At that particular time, how much of the data has been transferred? That is called as a throughput. Based on a throughput, we can tell whether you are utilizing the bandwidth correctly or not. So, that is very much important. So, the, for a calculation of a throughput, the data whatever transferred divided by the uh, time taken. So, if you take that, the throughput, at that one approximate time, whatever. for example, I will tell you. So you take one real time example here. Assume that from BMSIT to BMSC, it will take around half an hour to go in a regular sense. So, I will make my students to move from uh, BMSIT to BMSC giving a bike to them. So, once I will give a bike to them um, and they will move. One person will go in half an hour, another person will go in a 40 minutes, another person will go in a one hour due to traffic, due to many other reasons, due to many congestions. Now, if I ask you, the three persons has gone. How they have gone? One has gone in half an hour, one 40 minutes, one hour. What is the average time they have gone? So, the total three persons, what is the time taken divided by the amount of the persons? So, whatever the data they have taken. So, average data they have carried is like this. Then like that we can tell. Transfer time. What is the transfer time? How we will tell a transfer time? RTT plus 1 divided by a bandwidth into transfer size. That you have to keep in your mind always. The transfer time will be calculated. That is, what is the RTT? Means how much time will be taken to a packet to move from source to destination. What is the distance and back from so destination to the source? Plus, what is the bandwidth into what is the size of the file yeah, uh, the sender has been transferring? What is the transfer size? How much data they are transferring? It's all relatively, for example, take 1 MB file uh, to 1 GBPS link looks like 1 KB packet to 1 MBPS link. That means if you take 1 MB file and 1 GBPS uh, bandwidth, if you are going to take, if you adapt there, 1 KB of an app, packet then you are going to get one mbps of a link always in this way the link bandwidth will be calculated so how these things will be uh, taken like that means aggregation of this particular uh, pipes 1 MB of an data, if you want to send 80 pipes will be there, assume each and every pipe will be taken into the consideration. So, means a bulk of the channels will be combined together and in that, if you are going to send any data, then we will call it as an A, we will combine all that bulk and we are going to tell in a bulk format. Finally, this ends the performance of uh, the computer networks. Now, in the entire this particular unit, we have discussed uh, how we can identify a computer network, uh, layered architecture, how it will work, and uh, we have gone with uh, uh, protocols, and we have gone with uh, reference uh, models for as a blueprint for our design, and we have seen the uh, performance metrics, how a performance analysis of a computer network can be done. So this ends your first unit. The first unit assignment I will send it today through WhatsApp. Uh, please, everyone, follow that assignment and mail me. Either you can send back uh, uh, as an award document in a WhatsApp itself, which I will consider it back. Thank you very much.